you're gonna like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And that's the bottom line, cause Stone Cold said so. Back for another video, guys. Today is gonna be a short one, cause I don't have very many. But it's gonna be my N64 game collection. I've got a total of seven games. Well, so five of them are real, and two of them are reproductions, or fakes bootlegs, whatever you want to call them. So, by rights, I really only have five games. It's a work in progress. I'm going to be getting more games in the future. So, um, you know, let, let, let's get into it. I'm going to show my, uh, my bootlegs first. My repros. First up, it's a game I don't care too much for, but I got it with my N64. And it is Mario Party. Again, I don't, I don't, I'm just not a Mario Party person. I love the Mario games, but Mario Party, I'm just not big on it. I mean, it, I'm not saying it's a bad game, I'm just saying it's not for me, you know? Next up, we've got one that I actually really do love, and it's a great game. And it's pretty funny. And that's Conquer's Bad Fur Day. This one is good. This one's really good. But like most of my things, I bought it on eBay. For like 20 bucks or something, I don't know. It's a lot cheaper than buying the real thing, right? Although, yes, eventually I would like to get a real copy. And I will, so. That's that. Wonderful game, I definitely recommend it. And now on to my real games. And some of these are like the cream of the crop. They're just excellent games. I mean, the N64, a lot of games like that, I guess. So, yeah. Um, first up, we've got Mario Kart 64. What can I say about this that hasn't already been said? It's a classic. It's... Beloved by millions. Lots of people love this game. Right? I mean, you just can't go wrong, you know? If you want a kart racing game, it's not, the ones you want for N64 is either Mario Kart 64 or Diddy Kong Racing. Sadly, I don't have Diddy Kong Racing yet. So, uh... Yeah, I'll get it eventually, though. Next up, we have quite possibly one of the best games of all time, according to Metacritic. It's got a Metacritic score of, like, 98, which is excellent. It's almost perfection. And, I mean, it is. It's a really good game. It's such a great atmosphere, and it's really fun to play. It's uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And, well, yeah, this one is a excellent game. It's a lot of fun. Can't recommend it enough. It is cream of the crop. This is another one I got with my N64. Oh, I also got Mario, Mario Kart 64 with my N64 as well. I got three games with it. I got Mario Party. I got Mario Party. Mario Kart. And Zelda. Those are the three games I got with my N64. The rest of them I bought after. And next up, we've got Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Oh my god, this is quite possibly the best Star Wars game ever made. And that's saying something, because there's a nice few really good games. Star Wars games at, in this time period were general, generally pretty good. You know, so I can't really, uh, can't really blame anybody for liking this one. This was an exclusive, like a lot of games on the N64. This one was exclusive. So you can't play it anywhere else. And I'm telling you, this game is worth it. It's got like, uh, you know, driving stages or like whatever you call it, like ship battles. I don't know what you call it, but you know, it's Star Wars. So like, yeah, land speeders, spaceships, whatever. And, of course, you got your on-foot action sequences, which is what I like the most. 
But yeah, it's good. It was the first Star Wars game that really felt like you're in the movie. That was the cool thing about that one. Anyways, on to the next one. Now, this one is... It, might, it may be my favorite game on the N64. As, as a, If you've seen any of my other videos, you should know by now that I love my old school wrestling. So, I'm going to end off with two wrestling games. But the first one here is the best. I mean, the best wrestling game ever made, in my opinion. It is almost perfect. And it, it's so fun to play. It is... WCW NWO Revenge. Oh man, THQ before they went on to do a bunch of WWF slash WWE games. This is their crowning achievement. This is the best they ever did. And I'm not the only person that thinks that. Like, there's a generally, like, this is known to be one of the best wrestling games ever. And I completely understand it. I'm so nostalgic for it too because I used to play this four player um, at cadet camp, Camp Argonaut in uh, New Brunswick on an army base, you know, for a Royal Canadian Air Cadet. This is what I was in when I was in school. Ah, uh, fun times. But yeah, this one is is honestly one of the best multiplayer games you can ever play. It's really good. But if you're playing it by yourself, it's still really fun too. And last but not, and uh, the last one I got here, I only just got like yesterday. Came in from eBay. And it was by the same people who did WCW NWO Revenge. And it was the first WWF game that THQ ever did. And that was... WWF WrestleMania 2000. Again, I only got it yesterday, so I can't say a whole lot about it. But you know, it. I've I found it. I played it this morning, and it was I had fun with it. It's very similar to WCW slash NWO Revenge, but I think I like the WCW Revenge one better. Although this is really cool. You know, you got your, all your Attitude Era stars, Stone Cold, Mankind, The Rock, Triple H, you know, all of them, Big Boss Man, Al Snow, Ken Shamrock, and you got a bunch of the women champions too, and this one, I'm pretty sure you can, you could, there's a create a wrestler mode, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah. Gotta say, it's, uh, it's fun. But anyways, that's gonna be it for today, guys. Um, thank, thank you for watching. Bye.